the TRX 250X returns to Honda's lineup for 2016. As an entry-level sport recreational ATV, the 250X is a go-to machine for first-time sport ATV enthusiasts looking for a lightweight and nimble recreational trail quad. Recommended for riders age 16 and up, the 250X is an attractive choice for riders who have long since physically and mentally outgrown their 90s. It's also one of the few new machines on the market a younger rider could afford to save up for and purchase. The 250X has been proving its superb durability since it was released in 2001 as the 250EX. While it hasn't changed much over the past 15 years, what makes a great entry-level sport machine hasn't changed much either. And chances are, if you're considering buying a 250X, it's likely new to you. That's why the 2016 Honda TRX 250X was a machine we were determined to put to the test. ATV On Demand's test of the 2016 Honda TRX 250X was made possible by. If your ATV has a performance exhaust, it needs a performance intake to match. Used by champions like Chad Wienan and Walker Fowler, Fuel Customs intakes are engineered and built in the United States with a 100% satisfaction guarantee, providing increased horsepower and throttle response on engine builds from mild to wild. GBC XC Master tires are designed to meet the high endurance demands of cross-country racing and riding, featuring a puncture-resistant six-ply carcass in the tall X-knob tread pattern, delivering superior traction, handling, and durability in all conditions. Remastered and ready to race, GBC XC Master tires. The 250X was originally based on Honda's Recon 250 two-wheel drive utility machine, with a number of changes to enhance its performance, handling, and reduce weight along with a complete makeover and styling that's improved over the years. 2006 brought about the addition and extra performance of Honda's Sport Clutch, its most significant upgrade to date. The machine's most recent upgrades include a switch to new 22710 front and 22109 rear Maxxis tires. For 2016, there are two color options, black and white, and a red and white special edition model with color matched red shock springs and wheel hubs, in addition to an expanded graphics kit. To put the 250X to the test, we gathered 16-year-old 5'7", 165-pound Ethan Wingate and 43-year-old 5'8", 205-pound Rob Ray. Ethan outgrew his 90cc automatic CVT-equipped kids quad three or four years ago and was thrilled for the opportunity to discover riding on a more appropriate-sized machine. Rob Ray's skill set was utilized to test the limits of the X performance and fun factor. Our test began in Ethan's grandparents' backyard and wound up at Haspen Acres Off-Road Park in Laurel, Indiana. The 250X is powered by a 229cc air-cooled two-valve pushrod four-stroke engine fed by a 20mm carburetor. The 250X is the sole holdout in the entry-level sports segment with a sequential five-speed transmission plus reverse. The transmission features an auto clutch, which allows the rider to take off and shift gears without ever touching the clutch lever. Using the sport clutch is completely optional. It acts just like a manual clutch, allowing you to slip the clutch for faster takeoffs and acceleration out of turns. Shaft drive eliminates chain and sprocket maintenance, but it doesn't allow you to change the gearing for different sized tires and is less efficient at transferring power. To combat power loss, Honda mounted the engine longitudinally, turned 90 degrees in the chassis. This eliminates a 90 degree bend at one end of the drive shaft for more efficient power delivery. Electric start brings the Honda to life. The handlebar mounted choke is mandatory for frigid days where the 250X seems to take a good five minutes to warm up and run happily. The engine can only be started in neutral, a pain when the engine is cold and you stall it four or five times. The 250X sounds sporty and in spite of the engine being rubber mounted to reduce vibration, you can still feel its low RPM thump through the handlebars. No worries though, as vibration levels taper off as the RPMs increase. The exhaust emits a deep sporty sound, pleasing to the rider's ears, yet quiet enough to keep the neighbors happy. Power delivery is near perfection. It's most impressive in the first half of the throttle, pulling hard immediately off idle. Low end snap is amplified somewhat by the auto clutch, which engages a little faster at a slightly higher RPM than other auto clutches we've experienced. Good low end grunt makes the X feel fun and peppy for its smaller engine size. It allows you to get rolling quickly and easily without touching the sport clutch. Good low end power and a compact chassis 
make the X a willing wheelie machine. Once warmed up, the auto clutch makes the 250X virtually stall proof, allowing you to pick your way through tough trail sections with no need to feather the clutch or fear stalling the engine. Racing through the mid-range part of the power band, the engine seems happy and willing to rev. It's most fun on tight twisty trails, and there's enough horsepower and torque on tap that you can race or crawl your way up most hills, as long as you aren't in heavy power rotting sand. On top end, the X's engine flattens out, with the rev limiter kicking in, reminding you that it's past time to upshift. Rob noted a small flat spot around three quarters throttle under load. Between that and its cold nature, we suspect the jetting is a bit on the lean side to pass emissions. The engine runs well, and it may run even better with a little richer jetting. We found the gear ratios to be spot on with no annoying gaps. First gear is low enough to crawl along in gnarly sections. Second and fourth were ideal for most trails, with fifth on tap for access roads and meadow trails. As long as the manual sport clutch wasn't pulled in, engine braking is available to help control speed on long downhills or scrubbing off speed for corners. Neutral is located at the bottom of the shift pattern. Pull the lever back on the right side of the bodywork and shift down from neutral to reverse. The sport clutch provides light action at the lever. Rob's experience allowed him to immediately take advantage of its extra performance and control. Thanks to the auto clutch, Ethan quickly picked up the concept of shifting gears and proper gear selection without being forced to master a manual clutch on his first couple of rides. All in all, the 250X engine provides a lot of fun, regardless of experience. The 250X features a tubular steel chassis with a non-removable subframe, dual A-arm suspension front, and a swing arm with solid rear axle out back deliver 5.9 inches of travel up front and 5.7 inches rear. The shocks are non-adjustable. Their travel is competitive, but on the shorter side for the segment. The X is compact in its class, measuring in at 41.8 inches wide with a 44.3 inch wheelbase and 31.4 inch seat height. With its high clearance shaft drive and drum rear brake, the 250X enjoys 5.9 inches of ground clearance. 22 inch Maxxis tires at all four corners are mounted on lightweight aluminum wheels, helping keep strength up and rotating mass down. Fully laden with fluids, the Honda is a lightweight in its class at 384 pounds. The Honda's handling could best be described as nimble. Steering effort is light and accurate, going where you point it with minimum bump feedback felt through the handlebars. Stability is decent in corners and on side hills, as long as the terrain isn't too rough or ridden too aggressively. Body roll isn't a problem, and the 250X is a willing slider. The engine has enough power to pitch it sideways in turns up to third gear with a 200 pound rider on board. Although the machine's narrower track will get a little tippy if you get too aggressive, but with a little experience, you'll know when you're pushing the limits before you get there. In spite of its compact dimensions, the X feels planted and manageable at higher speeds on fast, relatively smooth trails. Its compact wheelbase adds to the machine's wheelie prowess without making the front end feel excessively light on steep climbs. Although the front shock's firm settings undoubtedly help keep body roll in check, traversing small bumps and ripples in the trail, the suspension's action was a little firmer than we'd like, regardless of each rider's size. Smaller tabletops were fun to jump, but Rob's 205 pound mass bottomed both ends hard, flat landing from a couple feet of air. Overall though, the rear end seems a bit plusher and bottoms less. Ethan's antics never bottom the suspension hard. However, by the time he starts going as big as Rob, he too will be overriding the limits of the suspension. We don't expect a beginner machine to handle big air, but we believe the 250X could benefit from a slightly more forgiving ride over typical imperfections in the trail. It might be difficult to find better all-around tires for the X. The Max's tires provided good forward braking and directional control in every condition we threw at them. The 250X brakes are a mixed bag of good and outstanding. The drum rear brake lacks the feel and instant power of a hydraulic disc brake, but as drum brakes go, it's about as good as it gets and works pretty well. The hydraulic front disc brakes offer superb feel and awesome stopping power. The 250X stops fast, is easy to control on steep downhills, and stoppies are no problem for the experienced rider. Ergonomically, the 250X fits a large number of riders well. 
Those between 5 foot tall and 5'6 will feel right at home. Even 6 foot tall riders will have some room to move around. The relationship between the bar seat and foot pegs is well laid out for casual or aggressive riding. The seat is flat and easy to move around on, but perhaps a touch too firm for long casual excursions. Overall, we're very happy with the feel and operation of the controls. Although the parking brake seems dated and takes two or three hands to activate, Neutral and reverse indicator lights make up the machine's instrument display, which in our opinion is perfect. Sport ATVs don't need unnecessary frills or distractions that add to their retail price. The 250X is rather low maintenance. The air filter can be accessed with no tools and removed with a Phillips head screwdriver. Keep it and the oil clean and the 250X should provide years of trouble-free operation. Honda is known for their exceptional quality and durability and the 250X has proven to live up to the brand's reputation for more than a decade. Unlike most other entry-level sport machines in recent history, Honda builds the 250X in-house in their United States-based manufacturing facility in South Carolina, helping ensure quality of craftsmanship and American jobs. The black and white 250X retails for $4,699, with the red and white special edition model we tested listing for $4,899. Its base price is at the higher end of the entry-level sport segment, yet it's affordable enough that a young rider could conceivably save up and purchase one without financing. A family could buy three 250X or two 250X and a 400X or 450R for dad for less than the price of most four-seat UTVs and no one will get stuck in the back seat. At the end of the day, a great entry-level sport ATV needs to feel quick, handle light and predictably, be extremely durable and come at a price that most enthusiasts can afford. The 2016 Honda TRX 250X offers all of that. The TRX 250X is a great first sport quad for an inexperienced off-road enthusiast. It's a good option for a teen looking to gain experience before moving up, and a machine most wives or girlfriends could enjoy nearly forever. What's best about the 250X is that it's one of those machines that's always nice to have around, as nearly anyone can have a great time riding it. And that's really what Honda's TRX 250X is all about. For more information on the TRX 250X or Honda's full line of ATVs and side-by-sides, log on to Honda.com.